The superior wall guys, I got a call from the rep. He's a super nice guy, but they can't get up the small hill or something. <laughs> my sprinter van, no problem. My Escalade, no problem. These guys can't get up 12 feet up the, the hill. I don't know what they're doing. But of course it rained like a sprinkle at like five in the morning, which just glazed everything over. I, I'm gonna go there right now and see what's going on. It's so stressful. Hopefully they're stuck out of the whatever. It's road base. Maybe they have bald tires or something. We'll find out. Hello, Wolves. Oh, mamma mia. You made it the first side. Look how soft the freaking ground is. It's wet. I don't blame them. They're being, they're being concerned. I mean, there's heavy machines up there. If you look at the crane, they got to bring in all the walls and it's wet. So I just put down a bunch of number twos of, on the whole driveway and this is where we're at. They're marking pins right now. They do it manually by hand and then they use a computer to set all the walls. There's a lot of walls. There's actually two trucks right now sitting over on the street and I'm a little anxious. I had the septic guy come. I didn't even know it was him. So no one told me. He was waiting there for like 10 minutes and I think he got annoyed. So that's where I'm at. So now it's just a waiting game. Hopefully they can bring the truck up with the uh, walls because if they can't bring the truck up with the walls then we have no walls so then this is going to be a waste of time and we have to wait till it's drier but hopefully that's not the case and let me get some drone shots going and we will uh, sit back watch and enjoy the show <laughs> this all up over here right there I fill that in that's nice and solid and now we're just cleaning up this corner a little bit I want to call them all princesses because like we'll solve any little issues it's wet it's a complicated I was honking at Silent J I, I just wanted him to be safe and like he's like screaming at me that he thinks I'm honking at him <laughs> and I thought today was gonna be boring So those little metal things go in. I can't wait to see the panel start being dropped. They're barely doing anything. It's like nothing on the level. It's very impressive. Those come out. That's the insulation. Look, that's a corner right there. Look how thick that is, that corner. That's about, it's pretty thick, 10 inches, give or take. And then these are the studs that we can screw onto for the drywall. And there's the insulation. Yep, crazy. We good? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oof. I'm gonna get these guys some pizza. Hopefully it's the equivalent to a Snickers bar. Heads are in. They are massive. Shut it
pizza helped. We have a lot of walls up. Now they're just talking about upset stomach, so that's a good sign. That means they're in a happier place. headache look at that monster wall and look at that three by three pad there was no i thought we had to put those in ourselves there's no way that was happening they made it happen thankfully once they got everything pinned out let's look at the pin real fast you see they shoot it in orange i think those pretty level and once we got everything situated up there and i got them pizza things started flowing really really well so this wall actually goes in that corner that they can't put in because the crane right there needs to go right there. And even from there, it's sketchy. Tomorrow, they'll set the rest of these walls and then the last two or three panels, they're gonna move over to there with support, of course. And that'll be it. Hopefully tomorrow's a short day so we could get the excavator going and we could dig the garage walls out. You know, it's like 3.30 and they work long days. They're, they live two hours away and they left at four in the morning. You know, you could understand why they're a little grumpy. I'd be too. And the lead guy just had a baby 10 weeks ago. It all adds up. So that's it for today. And then we'll wrap up this Superior Wall video tomorrow. I got another phone call from the rep. And it's like a hamster on the wheel situation about the crane. Oh, he's at that crane guy's apprehensive. They're not sure. We went over this crane spot. This is for the back two panels. We went over this crane spot like five times i prepped it bent over backwards and i have these guys like cursing me out on the phone this um effort this and that you better do this that i've been doing everything that they've asked and it's never enough and i think the issue is they don't have the right crane for the job there was an option to get a bigger crane and they would have to rent it which means probably less money for them and it was like 3,000 bucks. And I think that would have been the solution because I've just spent $1,500 in material just to get them to where they are right now. And I've about had it. And I'm going there now and I'm trying to be super patient. But when you get badgered and cursed at and all you're trying to do is help them out, I can't change the weather. I can't change their plan that they gave me. So I don't know what else they want. I'm two minutes away and I'm trying to calm down. So let's see what happens. The skies are blue, it's a little fog, but it's gonna burn off in the next 20, 30 minutes. And it should firm up where they need to put the crane pad. This is just ridiculous. One panel, one panel. We can't make it by one panel. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but this is really stressful. Wow. All of that stress for no reason. An extra 1500 bucks of prep. No reason. They got creative on that last panel. I can't get into it. I promised them I wouldn't tell how it happened, but it happened. And it's in. Now we got to dig out these con the concrete. We have to dig out these garage footers here and here. The bank is coming for another check. I'm completely broke <laughs> and it looks great. We'll go over it in a bit. In the meantime, we're going to start prepping this, uh, the garage footers. <laughs> 